This is Summer Huntington of Steel Mace Vinyasa and Flow Shala. This video is all about getting into warrior one position with load and the mace in a horizontal overhead position here. Start with the feet hip distance apart, bend the knees, step your right leg back coming into a warrior one position. Place your mace in reverse guard here. A recap from previous videos, the elbow is tracking in, the top hand is facing out, the form is below the chin. Once you're in the closed hip stance, the front knee is bent, not all the way to 90 degrees, it's partially bent. You're establishing balance here, then you're ready to press your mace up and overhead into a horizontal overhead position. The arms are straight, the wrists are neutral, they are not dropping back or collapsing at the wrist joint. Continuous pressure is coming out through the knuckles here. Then the shoulders can come into scapular depression as you start to recruit your lats. I recommend just being in this position and practicing reps here to maintain balance, core control, lat engagement, and glute engagement. Step into mountain pose, breathe, bend the knees and step the opposite leg back. Place the mace in reverse guard position. Very important, the elbow is married to the rib, shoulders are packed. Apply torque as you press your mace up and overhead. You'll notice as you come into this position, each time you punch your knuckles up towards the sky, you're increasing shoulder range of motion here while establishing balance in the lower body. This gives a lot more purpose to the posture, warrior one. I've learned this from working closely with Mark Wildman, who has a lot of experience in martial arts. When we teach our staff fighting workshops, seminars, retreats around the world, we are teaching people the basic warrior one position, which actually has a purpose, to protect one's skull from a flying staff that is swinging at a high velocity in a controlled environment. So observe, if someone's swinging a staff at me, I step into warrior one so I have the most optimum biomechanics to prevent the staff from slamming down. I think it's really important that we educate the yoga community and the athletic community on the why behind the movement and that it did originate in martial arts.